What does dissent in Russia look like these days? We're going to show you a couple of examples of that next, and we'll include the example of that anchor woman in Russia, who's in Russian television, who said that she objects to the invasion of Crimea. That's good. That's next. Okay, something to make clear is that both this show and the RT show are not news shows. They're, they're those you know, opinion shows where they just talk about the news and get their opinion. Another thing I want to make clear is something he said. He said, Abby Martin from Russia. And then he sort of clarified it and said, Russian TV. RT, Russian television, may be owned by Russia, but they're not Russian news, and they're not filmed in Russia. Abby Martin lives and works in New York. Ago, and last night on Russian television, there was this startling moment on an English language network that many Western observers have celebrated as a rare moment of dissent in Russian media. Before we wrap up the show, I wanted to say something from my heart about the ongoing political crisis in Ukraine and Russia's military occupation of Crimea. Just because I work here for RT doesn't mean I don't have editorial independence. And I can't stress enough how strongly I am against any state intervention in a sovereign nation's affairs. What Russia did is wrong. I admittedly don't know as much as I should about Ukraine's history or the cultural dynamics of the region, but what I do know is that military intervention is never the answer. And I will not sit here and apologize or defend military aggression. Furthermore, the coverage I've seen of Ukraine has been truly disappointing from all sides of the media spectrum and rife with disinformation. Above all, my heart goes out to the Ukrainian people who are now wedged as pawns in the middle of a global power chess game. They're the real losers here. All we can do now is hope for a peaceful outcome for a terrible situation and prevent another full-blown Cold War between multiple superpowers. That Kremlin-funded network responded with this statement. Contrary to the popular opinion, RT doesn't beat its journalists into submission, and they are free to express their own opinions, not just in private, but on the air. This is the case with Abby's commentary on the Ukraine. We respect her views and the views of all our journalists, presenters, and program hosts. And there will be absolutely no reprimands made against Ms. Martin. In her comment, Ms. Martin also noted that she does not possess a deep knowledge of reality of the situation in Crimea. As such, we'll be sending her to Crimea to give her an opportunity to make up her own mind from the epicenter of the story. Okay, I'd like to just stick in a little comment here. <laughs> we'll be sending her to Crimea. I wonder if that's code for Siberia. That was just a funny one. We'll be sending her to Siberia. Joining me now, James Kerchick, a fellow at the Foreign Policy and Miriam Elder, foreign editor for BuzzFeed. She lives in Russia for seven, seven years, a Moscow correspondent for The Guardian. James, uh, you had a, a famous run-in on RT. I really want to get your reaction to what Abby Martin had to say. Yeah, I think this is a form of really managed or controlled dissent. Um, you know, there are real Democrats and oppositionists in Russia, like Alexei Navalny, who you showed earlier. Those people tend to be beaten up and thrown in jail. And then you have sort of the official or puppet opposition. And these are, you know, parties and politicians who are paid and sponsored by the Kremlin. That's what Abby Martin is. She cashes checks from Vladimir Putin. So she spends 60 seconds voicing her disagreement with uh, Russian behavior in Ukraine, that doesn't um, uh, counter what she does every day on her show, which is spout Kremlin propaganda. And not, and not just Kremlin propaganda, but this woman, we need to be clear, is an out-and-out mm. lunatic. She's an out-and-out mm. lunatic. She's a conspiracy theorist. She's a 9-11 truther. She Go on. Make your case. She thinks that water fluoridation is a government conspiracy, which you, the last time you heard that was probably from the John Birch Society. Uh, she's compared Israel to Nazi Germany. So I, you know, to, to, to portray her as some sort of brave, truth-telling hero um, is really an act. Well, the world is all corrupt. It's filled with conspirators. It seems that that's all there is these days. The more you look into it, the more conspiracies you see and suspect. They sure look like conspiracies. This doesn't make us crazy. It makes us wise to the world. 
with a simple search, you see that fluoride is not helping. It's actually a way for a company to get rid of its toxic waste. And make up your mind, you know, is she crazy and believes in all of these things? Or is she a Russian puppet? This guy seems too desperate to marginalize her. An out and out lunatic. And all that's going to happen now is that RT is going to be able to, you know, hold up and dangle this little moment of um, pseudo dissent and say, look, we're a legitimate news network. We have differing points of view, and that's really not the case. And Abby Martin tweeted today after uh, her network said that she was going to the uh, epicenter. Ar Abby Martin tweeted, I am not going to Crimea, despite the statement RT has made. Please update accordingly, she was saying. Uh, uh, Miriam, uh, just to clarify on RT, it's not actually seen. In, it, it's, it's a Russian network news production in the English language for foreign consumption. So no one in Russia actually saw her do that on TV? Yeah, that's precisely right. Um, Russia today so, was... Yeah, I mean, you know, that's that's where, if you're the Kremlin, that's where you want the dissent to be, on TV that no one in Russia can see. Well, exactly, and I think... It seems like they're building up a straw man based on half-truths. He was making it sound like this is a Russian news program. It's not, and that's the reason why they don't cover Russian news. <laughs> Plus the fact that it's owned by Russia, and so they just ignore Russia almost all the time. This was a rare situation, and they're trying to twist it around. It's like BBC America, which we get here in America because it's, it's American. They're just using the title BBC. It is not RT's fault that this is not shown in Russia. It's an American show, just like MSNBC, except they have different owners, which we'll get back to. I, yeah, I don't doubt that most Russians probably support what the government is doing right now, but you have to understand that practically all of the media, television, where most Russians get their news, is state-controlled. Um, they're really only independent news sources. You have maybe a handful of newspapers, some independent web in their world, because they're basically getting, in Russian, what you see on RT, which is basically lies and propaganda. They're not getting this in Russia. We've covered this. I haven't quite figured this out. It's, it's like they're trying to take a bunch of half-truths and red herrings so they can build up a straw woman and then tear her down. Because it's a competing news network here in America. Yes, Russian news will be biased toward Russia, but they're free to tell the truth about the rest of the world, which is why American news channels don't like them and want to fight them. I mean, this isn't the first time this has happened. There's a big shot, big shot, the most watched news person on cable news, who attacked our team. No, 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 that's shut up. No, Just shut up. Just shut up. All he's got is... Now, our team came under attack from Fox News talk show host Bill O'Reilly. Shut up. Well, shut up line has happened only once in six years. Well, I know shut what I'm doing. Shut up. 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 They get propaganda, and of course we don't. We don't get that here. Yeah. Everything's great here. You know how we know we're not being lied to? Because they tell us. <laughs> Jimmy's right. When it comes to sort of the older population in Russia, who does get mm -hmm. most of their uh, their news from state-controlled television, but kids there are on the internet all the time and if you look at the main discussions on Twitter on Facebook on the Russian version of Facebook called Vkontakte it's incredibly lively there's tons of dissent dissent could bubble up to the level on this that we might see some kind of external protests in uh, Moscow or elsewhere well, I believe there, had, there were, um, uh, or there was a small protest with a couple of hundred people protesting. Uh, this, this protest was broken up, people were beaten and, and carted off to jail. Going all the way back to the 50s, maybe probably beyond, this is what, have hap this is what happens when Americans dissent and speak up. 
protests are attacked by the government all the time, the government's army, known as the police. This is what happened to the Occupy movement. The government tore it apart. You, you can find those clips on YouTube. That's the only unbiased source right here on YouTube. If you listened to uh, Putin's press conference today, he said a lot of perfectly reasonable sounding things that if you're a Russian with very limited news uh, access uh, would sound very reasonable to you that this was a violent... O that sounds familiar. <laughs> MSNBC, CNN, and Fox are own, are controlled by the government, at least indirectly, controlled by people who are at least on one side of politics, and so it is all biased. How do I know that the government broke up the Occupy movement? Heard it from people like Abby Martin on RT News. <laughs> They're actually different. They say things that I don't hear anywhere else, especially Abby Martin. That's her shtick. She's in your face, and she will say what's on her mind. <laughs> and, and as far as I know, that's all that was happening here. Why are they the ones that will give honest, unbiased news about the United States? Because they're the only ones not owned by the United States. And sure, they're going to be biased against Russia. Matter of fact, they usually ignore Russian news. So if you want Russian news, don't watch Russian television news. If you want American news, you should watch RT, Russian television news. You're not interested in the mainstream media at all, are you? Hey, you know, I don't think it's where you get your news. I think the best place to get the news is uh, the Daily Show, Comedy Central, The Onion. Those places, uh, they're trustworthy, they're um, honest, they strip the mask off the hypocrisy. They do what the media is supposed to do. And when you watch American news, they're not talking about the source of the problem. Why is this happening? It's all a bunch of distraction and stuff like this. <laughs> and remember how the news ignored Occupy Wall Street for the first few months or so? No, maybe you don't remember that. <laughs> because you didn't hear about it. Everybody's biased except for a few nobodies here on YouTube. So if you want to hear more of that, if you're interested in health, you may want to check out my 70 health videos. You'll hear stuff you've never heard before. You'll hear the truth, what will actually help you, instead of the BS that's designed to make money by keeping you fat and sick. I sound like Abby Martin.